Hello and welcome everyone to the week ahead commodity reports where we of course will be reviewing the markets for the week ahead and so far July is certainly setting up to be a very lucrative month which has continued to present savvy traders with a back-to-back -back flow of opportunities to capitalize on the short-term macro driven volatility. This trend is definitely here to stay and that will continue throughout the second half of 2021. Now on last week's commodity report we highlighted to you that the metals they will move in a sideways trend they will continue to consolidate and that will present you with opportunities to capitalize on the narrow range so once again everything we identified with you that has played out as predicted providing you with plenty of opportunities to capitalize on that volatility now looking ahead as we go into a new week we're entering one of the busiest weeks of the summer with an action-packed calendar of economic events one of the biggest events that traders will be watching very closely is the federal reserves policy meeting on wednesday that will be followed by a press conference chaired by jerome powell which always has the potential to move the markets now traders will be watching to see if jerome powell reveals any fresh clues about the anticipated wind down of the Fed's massive quantitative program, especially as the global economy is now facing uncontrollably high inflation, which is starting to raise fears of stagflation, with a period of high inflation accompanied by a slowdown in economic growth. So far this year, the Fed has maintained their stance to allow inflation to run hotter than its traditional 2% goal as the economy recovers from the pandemic. Data released earlier on this month that showed US inflation, it accelerated from 5% to 5.4% in June. That was the highest on record since 2008. And economists now forecast that inflation will climb to between 6 to 9% by year end. That's why traders will be very closely monitoring next week's second quarter GDP data. That highly anticipated release is scheduled for Thursday and will likely open up the door to more volatility in the week ahead. As you know, volatility creates opportunity Banks and hedge funds, they're making multi-billions capitalizing on the week-to-week -week volatility. And it's not so different for the retail market. The majority of our clients at the Gold and Silver Club utilizing our proprietary research driven trading approach, they've already made in excess of six and seven figures so far this year. And we're only six months into 2021. Goldman Sachs, they've already begun preparing their clients for what they predict will be one of the most profitable quarters ever seen. So if you've been kicking yourself for missing out on some of the big trading events so far this year, you still have time to make 2021 your best year yet. So with that, let's move over to the charts and we'll talk you through exactly what we're looking at here as we head into a new week. First of all, let's move it over to copper and we were able to really maximize on this breakout that we've seen over the last week. So 3.6% move in the last week. Friday, 2.6% move to the upside. We banked just under a thousand points on our copper positions on Friday. So of course, for every one lot that you'll be trading, that's going to be generating you $10,000 of profit. For every 10 lot contract that you'll be trading on copper, that generates you $100,000 of profit. And again, we identified this with you last week that we were looking for any sell-offs as a gift to buy in lower, to capitalize on the infrastructure spending, inflation running hot, also looking to capitalize on the European Central Bank announcement on Thursday as well which saw copper prices break out significantly later on in the week here. So we've had a very strong move here on copper, broken above the neckline as we discussed previously. This was the anticipation that copper will build up momentum. Come back up to the neckline here. Very strong close here on Friday. Weekly chart also looking very strong here on copper as well. So basically we remain with five positions on this market. All of those trades are in profit as we go into a new week. We remain bullish on copper. I hope many of you were able to capitalize on that slingshot move higher that we saw later on in the week. Now, moving over to gold here, we discussed with you last week that we were looking for range bound price action on gold, that each dip back down towards the 1790 zone would be a buy opportunity. You'll note we didn't break down any lower than that zone. We kept finding support all week long over Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, 
Thursday and Friday, every time gold came down and tested the 1790 area, that was an area for you to be able to buy in on four different occasions where the price closed back above 1800. So essentially four times last week, you could have capitalized on that day-to-day -day volatility of gold as we identified with you on last week's report and also gold and silver asset of the day. These tight ranges, they provide plenty of opportunities for you. But as we've seen out there, Many traders using outdated technical strategies, they tend to get chopped up a lot on this up and down price action with gold and they're unable to really generate any returns. They just keep on getting triggered on their longs or their shorts and they get spiked out of positions regularly and chopped up a lot. But I hope that hasn't happened to you because we have very clearly identified with you trade the range in the last week. Look at 1790 zone as a great buy opportunities that played out very well on gold i'll come back to this market in just a moment we'll talk you through what we're expecting as we look into a new week here silver as well so what we've seen over silver here as we mentioned again last week that we would perceive it as a buy opportunity if silver was to drop back below $25 per ounce. So what we've done in the last week when we dropped back down towards that level, we've added two positions on silver. You can see here, silver's building a base at the moment. We've seen some support over the last couple of days here. The usual fade after the European Central Bank announcement as well. This is where you can get a breakout on the day of the European Central Bank and the subsequent post European Central Bank sell-off, which can actually provide you with a nice opportunity to sniper in nice and low on the metals here. So we've seen that opportunity over the last couple of sessions to get some really nice low entries on this market. We're essentially looking for silver to build a base as we go into next week. Couple of points to note on gold and silver. The gold silver ratio has started to roll over over the last couple of days. So has the dollar. The perfect setup going into next week would be the gold to silver ratio selling off, which would mean that silver is going to outperform gold and the dollar starting to come under some pressure as well, which we've seen over the last couple of days. If that happens, if the dollar rolls over, and if the gold silver ratio breaks down, that would definitely help gold and silver here as we build momentum into Wednesday's FOMC statement. So this could all set up very nicely for big catalysts for large moves in commodities as we go into next week. Now, palladium here, we've got two positions on this market, which are currently up 1,500 points per position. So in total, we're up over 3,000 points on this trade. There was another opportunity last week to add further exposure on that sell-off down towards the 2,560 zone last week. You can see where we came and tapped three times into that area of liquidity there, found strong support. Good close here overall within the week, over a 1.2% gain to the upside here, although you've got the usual post-European central bank sell-off, but still we like palladium over this cycle. We're built into lower positions here at the 2,500 zone. Both of those positions are currently up over 3,000 points. They're moving over to platinum. So platinum, as we mentioned to you the previous week, we banked 2,300 points on this market, which actually put us in a really good position because we had locked in some profits here on platinum. When we actually saw the sell-off to the downside last week, we were actually able to reload at even lower entries than we had previously when we banked 2,300 points. So as you know, for every one lot contract for a 2,300 point move, that's $23,000 of profit. For every 10 lot contract that you trade on platinum for a 2,300 point move, it's $230,000. So this sell-off, we've taken advantage of it. We bought in nice and low over the last week. I am expecting platinum to do well over this quarter. We've taken the opportunity on the sell-off over the last couple of days to sniper in nice and low and establish further trades on this market, which then takes me back to gold. So if you look at the price action on gold, what we've seen over the last few days is a lot of traders, they're getting chopped up by the mere fact that they're getting their delayed confirmations. So they wait for the European Central Bank. They see a break above the previous day's high. They go long on gold. They put their stop loss below the previous day's low. So what happens here? They falsely get triggered into a long on Friday. Market sells off, takes them out, the stop loss at the previous day's low, only to see the market ramp back up again into the close. As we mentioned to you, you've got to be early into your trades. Buy in on gold at the 1790 zone. That would be an ideal area for you to focus on in the last week. But again, many technical traders out there, they're utilizing outdated strategies in the market. 
And you have to remember, technical trading is the very first thing everybody is taught out there. You have to evolve your process beyond that because technical trading alone just does not work. You need to have a lot more edge in the market. Otherwise, you're going to be in the same position in three months from now, in six months from now, in 12 months from now, and you will be kicking yourself that you've not moved on and you're still trading these strategies which just do not work and ultimately lose your money and you end up getting chopped up a lot in the market. And we do not want that for you. As you know, bull markets, they do not move up in a straight line. They zigzag and that presents us as traders with back-to-back -back trading opportunities. Technical analysis, it does not work. We're in a highly data and event-driven trading landscape. And if you want to maximize your money-making potential and thrive, not just survive, you need to adapt your strategy to these current market conditions. And most importantly, utilize a professional research-driven approach. In these times of heightened volatility, rapidly surging inflation, the importance of having an essential income generating skill like trading has become a must have necessity. If 2020 has taught us anything, it's that you should never rely on just one income stream. Building multiple streams of income, it's no longer just an option. It's a priority to make sure that you're inflation proof and that you thrive, not just survive. The greater your data and intelligence, the greater your edge in navigating these fast moving markets with precision accuracy and the highest levels of profitability if you want to gain that ultimate edge to really supercharge your wealth in these fast moving markets and highly profitable trading conditions then you need to trade like the hedge funds the money managers and the institutions utilizing a professional research driven approach in the market you want to be utilizing understanding of the daily weekly monthly quarterly cycles in the market understand key areas of liquidity capital flows especially over each quarter that will help you massively alongside that understand the intermarket correlations the ratios add to that understanding of macroeconomics the key data points that you need to be aware of utilizing statistics market intelligence the real facts in the market and alongside that an awareness of how the hedge funds, money managers, banks and institutions are positioned in the market day to day. That will help you massively to get an edge. So with that, if you would like to join our community of successful traders, learn the research driven approach to the market and join our professional mentorship program, there is an opportunity for you to do so. As a member, you get access to our exclusive live trading room webinars. You get access to our real-time trade ideas, institutional research and market intelligence, access to our private members academy website, and also support and one-to-one -one mentoring. For more information, just go to www.jointhelivetradingroom.com. The link is also below this report in the description. So just click on the link, make an application, and we will, of course, get in touch with you ASAP. And do make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way you're always kept updated with all of the latest commodity reports.